Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss about how to insert or add element into array at any given position. There are several ways to achieve this. I'll explain you in simple way so that anyone can understand. So I have divided into three category. First I'll just declare an array. Then I'll just write the logic to insert element in array. And third we will print print the values. Okay. So I'm just creating array here. So what I will do that I'll just create an array of integer type integer then I'll write a name array equal to I'll add some value 10 20 40 50 okay so this is my array of length 4 there are multiple ways to create an array I have already created a video on array. If you have any doubt related to array, just watch that video. I believe your all concept would be clear from there. Now I will create a method and write logic to add value at any position. So I'll write a method here, public void, public void, then I'll just change the name here. I'll write insert element in array here we will pass three parameter the first one is array so int i'll just write a variable name here then the second variable would be int position and the third one is the value what value we want to set then here i'll write the logic so i'll just write one for loop here for then double tab here in place of length, I will write a dot length, I mean array of length. So array of length, here array of length is four, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, array length is 4 here. Inside for loop, I'll write a logic of if like, if i equal equal to this position. So suppose if I want to change the value of position 2 with value 80. So 0, 1, 2. So in place of 30, I just want to update value as 80, right? So what I will do that here, I'll just check the index. Okay, this index value is matching with this position. Yes, if it is matching, then I'll just change the value. Then I'll write that a position equal to what is the value? So this value, I will just update that. Okay, that's all now we have to call this method in our main 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 class right so for that i'll just create a object first so that i we can access all methods so let me create object object equal to new okay using this object i will call the insert element in array then i'll pass the array value here so we we need to pass three parameter here right so the first parameter would be array the second thing like which we have to pass the position so suppose i want to change i just want to update value in second position second and what value you want to insert like i just wanted to insert 90 right so this is the second logic we have written like logic to insert element in array the third thing is like we need to print the value right since since this is array then we have to add one loop here to show all our value in uh, our um, console right so i'll write a separate method to, uh, for that so what i'll write so i'll write here public void print okay inside that i'll just pass one variable parameter sorry Inside that, I'll just pass one parameter integer array. Okay. We can add any meaningful name here in place of array, right? Then I'll just uh, loop. I'll just add a loop. So for then double tab, it will automatically create one loop for me. And in place of length, I will write array dot length. Okay. And after that, I'll just print the value console dot write then array of i then 
plus I will give one space here okay and this method also I'll, I'll call from main so for printing value I, I will call object dot print and in print I will pass this array okay Now my code is ready right I'll just put one breakpoint and I'll show you like how it is working so I'll put one breakpoint here and then I'll start up my application so here we can see that uh, my array length is like 4 it is since we know that array always start from index 0 so 0th position we have 10 then first position 20 second position 30 in third position 40 and in fourth position 50 and this position like we need to update insert element at position 2 at the value would be 90 okay so what i will see here so it will start from 0 and it will check like if it is 0 is matching with this position so 0 is equal to 2 no this is false right so it will not go inside this loop then second thing it will check like one is one is equal to two no it's not equal to two then the third time it will check like if two is equal to two yes so then it will go inside the uh, if block and it will update the position right so now if you'll see the array is like earlier it was like 10 20 30 now it is showing 90 okay you are getting right you can see here you can see the value now it is showing 90 after that what it will it will do it will go to the um, i'll put one breakpoint here also so that I'll, I'll show you like how it is printing the value then it will uh it will come here in the print method and it will console all the method i'll write here soul dot So now we can see our value in console it is showing like 10 20 90 40 50 earlier it was 10 20 30 40 50 now it is showing 10 20 90 40 50 we can change the position also right suppose if you want to update at fourth position and i'll update value as 100 right so i'll remove the breakpoints now here you can see that right 20 20 30 40 and 100 earlier it was 50 now it is showing as 100 one more thing we, we can do that uh suppose if right now if you're passing like suppose if array is not available suppose this is like 0 1 2 3 4 i'll pass here at position as 6 right this time also i mean it will not give any error because i have handled in this situation but what we can do i'll write the same thing here after for loop here also we can give the same same things so that it will identify the position and it, it will give an error it will give an error to us so here you can see right i'll so here you can see right no position is matching with our index but it will give now it is giving like index was outside of the bond of the array since the position is 6 but our array length is till 4 only right here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 that's the reason it is giving an error to us okay now you got it right what else we can do so i'll just print the value initially and after that i'll print the value here also right so the same method i will write before so i'll write one console here console dot right uh, before starting element I'll call the same method okay so it will print out the value and here I'll write the same after after inserting uh, before printing uh, I'll just 
right after inserting an element i will just write fourth here okay so now we can see the now we can see our output i'll remove this breakpoint you can see here right before inserting an element 10 20 30 40 50 and after inserting an element it is giving us 10 20 30 40 and 100 i'll just add a new line here so we have we have to add right like soul soul dot right line then environment environment dot new line so it will give us a new line here okay the same thing i will add here also okay now we will check that yeah so now you can see here right before inserting an element it is showing as 10 20 30 40 and 50 after inserting an element it is showing as 10 20 30 40 and 100 now we got it right so it was the three step process so firstly we we have just declared an array after that we have implemented a logic to insert an element in array where we have checked that the if uh, index position index is equal to the given position and based on that actually we are just updating the value and the third thing what we have done we have just print out the value right inside like we have just written one for loop and here we are printing all the values so this is three step process so where we can add any kind of uh, we can insert or update any kind of element into the array i hope you are clear with insert an element into array I will see you in the next video. Thank you.